Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is The Incredible Hawk, Black Schism, from 1978. So let's get started. soul of an otherwise peaceful man, the incredible Hulk, huge, powerful, unthinking, destructive, wanted for murder. David Bruce Banner, gentle physician and healer, now a fugitive from himself, living in the shadow of the monster within, forever fearful of its next outburst of violence, desperate in his search for an answer, a cure. There's got to be a way. I can't go on like this, a prisoner of my own emotions. For it is anger which triggers the altered molecular mechanism within his body that turns the gentle physician into a rampaging monster. I can't go on forever wondering if there's a killer within me, never knowing where or when he might emerge, forever hiding my true identity. David Bruce Banner, calling himself David Benson, man on the run, on the road to everywhere, searching, always searching. Okay, Benson. This is as far as I go. Thanks a lot. Johnville, huh? Coal mining town. Ain't much to look at, but you might find a job here. Well, thanks again. <clears throat> Mr. Jason? Uh, that's me. Somebody said you had a job opening. Yeah, the payroll department. Uh, could use someone. Well, my name's uh, Benson. David Benson. This is my daughter, Betty. Hi. How do you do? And this is Keith Moore, our general manager. You'll be working for him if you qualify. Mr. Moore? You had any experience in accounting, uh, Benson? No, not exactly, but I, I've got a college degree. What field? Uh, chemistry. That doesn't mean you can figure payroll. <laughs> Keith, darling, if Mr. Benson knows chemistry, I'm sure he's good with figures. The job's temporary. Well, that's okay with me. All right. What do you say, Keith? It's your coal mine. You're on, Benson. Keith will show you around and what to do. Keith? Yeah, Benson? Well, I was looking through this ledger and... Give me that book. I was just going to point out that... These aren't the accounts you're supposed to be working on. Well, there seems to be some discrepancy I between... said these books aren't part of your job. Do I make myself clear? Okay. Sorry, but I'm uptight today. Just get back on these payroll forms, will you? Sure. Lunch, Keith? Not now, Betty. I think I'll work through. How about you, David? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds good, Miss Jason. The name's Betty. Come on, I'll show you the great little drab town of Johnville. <laughs> Never seem to go up. 
Dad's even thinking of closing down. Why, David? No, nothing. Just, just wanted, that's all. What do you want, Benson? Look, I haven't said anything to Betty or to Mr. Jason. What are you talking about? The other ledger, the double set of books. Are you out of your mind? More, I'm not an accountant, but even a kid could figure that you're bilking the mind, stealing the Jason's blind. You are bonkers. Am I? Betty's a nice girl, thinking about marrying you. The old man looks on you like a son. So? Maybe you have time to save yourself, Keith. How would I go about that? Restitution. Put the money back. They never know. I was doing it for their own good, you know. Come on, Keith. I'm not kidding, Benson. The least you can do is hear me out. All right, I'm listening. Jason's an old man. He's lost his touch, doesn't care anymore. Betty never knew much about mining anyway. Wasn't interested. There's an old section of the mine, tunneled by Jason's grandfather before the turn of the century. It's full of high-grade anthracite. I've been putting the money there, improving it. I know it'll pay off. Why haven't you told them? They were against it from the start. They think it's mined out, but I know it isn't. Will all this expense show up in the books? Sure. Better than that, let me show you the mine. But... Will you see that coal? Pure anthracite. Come on. It's only a little way. About a mile out. Over here, Benson. I thought you said you were improving this place. That's what I said. These support timbers, they're rotted. Not up ahead. You've been repairing from the inside out? That's where the anthracite is. Wouldn't it be safer to reconstruct from the mine entrance? The overhead beams aren't that bad. They'll hold. Come on. You have to see this. Black gold. More? More? More, where are you? Over here. The lights went out. I know. You got a flashlight? Of course. I can't see it. More, where? Over here. Just follow me. I can't see you more. <laughs> Over here, Banner. See? Over here. More, cut the kidding. Just follow me. Five Piper, right? More. More, where are you? Turn on your light. More. I know this mine like the back of my own hand, Benson. I don't need a light. <laughs> Just follow my footsteps. Thank you. 
they find him yet? Yeah, way down the shaft, out of his head, raving about some monster. I'm sorry, Mr. Jason. He was like a son to you, wasn't he? Oh, sort of, yeah. I knew him a long time. Can't figure out what he was doing down in that old shaft. We had it closed, it's unsafe. He say anything to you about going in there, David? He did mention something about reopening it. The anthracite there, he said. After that, I, I don't remember. Well, he was wrong about that. That was mined out years ago. They say it was the Hulk that caused the collapse. The Hulk? Some kind of monster. People dream up the weirdest things. Uh, you're welcome to stay on, Benson. I'll be needing a new manager. You seem to know your onions. I, uh, that, that, that's nice of you, Mr. Jason, but I, I, I think I'll be moving on. Where to, David? I don't know. Anywhere, everywhere. I, I can't seem to stay in one place very long. Well, suit yourself. Excuse me. Hey, Charlie, you see you a minute? What are you looking for, David? Huh? What are you after? What are you searching for? I... I don't know, Benny. Myself, maybe, or... Or peace. I don't know. So, that was the Incredible Hawk, Black Ch uh, Chisholm, for 1978. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.